hi guys and welcome in this video my name is daniel and today i will demonstrate how you can use vistascope to essentially generate uh vectors out of image so um we have seen previous tutorials previous video how you can transform any image into a relief but this time i'm gonna use vistascope to transform uh image into vectors so i'm gonna load an image and for example this one and here is going to ask if we want to make an AI relief preview. But since we are not going to make any relief model, we just want to make vectors. I'm going to skip this for now. And I'm going to also skip the image announcement since the image is uh, good enough in quality. And I'm going to click on generate vectors. Now this will open a window which will show the 2D vector generation. And I'm going to click on generate 2D and this is going to generate the vectors out of the image. This is state of the heart for vector generation. So I will see you when the uh, final result is finished. Okay, so this is the result and it's looking pretty good. Obviously, um, some minor issue on the second image here, which is essentially the outline so as you can see you have a center line and you have also an outline depending on which type of tool path you want to do in this case i'm going to select the center line and i will say the result looks very good and it looks very accurate to the image and it was very fast so i'm going to export this on the desktop and i'm going to um, essentially make a new file called dog and I'm going to show you on a, on a hard cam or oh, you can import this, which is very easy. You can just import the dog vector that we have just created in VistaSculpt and we can make um, a toolpath by just simply importing the vector and just uh, create the toolpath. And it's going to work very uh, immediately and it's going to look very good. Okay, so. The toolpath has finished. Let's see the result carved into the material. Okay, so this is a very gentile, you know, gentile amount of depth, but we can also increase it. As you can see, it looks very good. And uh, yeah, that's how you make vectors. It's very simple. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate with another example. So uh, actually, let's try to generate an image this time. So here you have uh, the image generation. For example, here I've generated pizza in the boxes, you know, cars and some other stuff. You can just type whatever you want. For example, I don't know, a dog, a dog eating a pizza. And just give it a few seconds and it will generate the image and we can then use that image to generate a vector or a relief it depends what you are looking for so yeah with vista school you can essentially make everything you want out of your imagination by just simply using image so that's very very handy and it's as now state of the heart in both image generation relief generation and vector generation this is really nice looking very good I'm going to apply and i'm going to generate vectors out of this image same process generating 2d and okay nice perfect i'm going to choose the uh, outline export and i'm going to export as dxf dog to save perfect new uh, new file on artcam and i'm going to import the new um, vectors okay i'm gonna fast forward this and i'm going to create uh the okay so this is um how this image looks as a 3d model instead so looks very 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 nice we can also you know crop the background and use the model or make it as a vector whatever is your type of need you can really do whatever you want with this sculpt and create professional works just in a few clicks 
um, obviously um, for the vectors you also have a vector library so you just go on file and here you have a vector library and essentially here is gonna keep all your previous work that you have done all the vector that you have generated and you can uh, you know export them at any time you don't need to make them again so you have all your previous work stored uh, same thing for the generated image so you will have your own library and you can save all the job that you make during your usage of VistaScript. and that's it for this video i'm going to make more video like this in the future so stay tuned and follow the channel um, and go out there and go make some really nice uh, project with VistaScript. share on social media Follow the, us on uh, social media and I will see you in the next video. Bye.